Hello there, this is Talmud, and this is going to be a playthrough of Course Party Ever After. This is only a demo currently. There's three chapters out, don't know how many there are going to be. This was made by Skybird027 on Tumblr. And it came to my attention in the D2, Corpse Party D2 Fatal Operation video that some people don't like to listen to me complain about Corpse Party games. So if you don't want to listen to me complain, I don't think you should be here, because I probably will complain about this. Let's start it up. Uh, chapter 4, why is that there? I thought it was only Chapter 3. Maybe maybe it just doesn't work. Another thing I noticed is that on the main menu, the music is kind of loud, but in the game, the music isn't quite as loud. Not really a bad thing. I just wanted to fix our friendship. Good morning. I just want us to stay friends. Forever and ever. Good morning, Aru. I guess there's not going to be any chat character portraits. Good morning, dear. Going to school early today, Mom? Sure you got everything you need? He doesn't have a backpack. Did I forget something? Yeah, your backpack. That's right, I almost forgot. I didn't want this to happen. No, no, Harry, don't be so forgetful at such an early age. <laughs> That's mean, Dad. Harry, you better get what you forgot now going to school early, right? Alright. Stop it. Oh, where did I, oh, he's got a game thing. What is that? Now, where did I... Aha. Found it. Found the Satchko over after charm. Mm, you can't forget that. Hope to make up already after this. Yuzuki, Hikaru. Stop it. Oh, I I want to go back in the room and look at that console. Oh, I can go back. I thought it would lock me out. I wonder if everything has descriptions. It does. How's your game console? Oh, it doesn't say what it is. It has horse party loaded inside. Okay. Okay. How's your boxers? I can clean that up later. Basket with how's your clothes? Uh, I'm not going to look at everything. Let's just look at what looks important. A letter is neatly placed on the table. Should I give it today? No way, it's embarrassing. Oh boy. Oh boy, I think I know what that means. Hazu's favorite CDs of Imai Akemi, a popular singer and voice actor of Yuma and Horse Party. Oh, jeez. Play music? No, I don't want to play the music. The jigsaw puzzle. Horse Party. Alright, let's see what Mom and Dad have to say. Oh, I just noticed that the music stops when you go in your room. That's kind of odd. Here, take a little something to eat. Thanks, Mom. Receive chocolate. Just like Saika. Who leaves their broom out in the middle of the area like that? Dad? Hey, son. How are Yuzuki and Hikaru doing? I think I mispronounced one of their name. They're fine. I wish. That's good. I thought they were having some sort of fight. No, they're fine. Yeah. Very convincing. Alright, well, let's... Get Go up the frame rate job for a second there. I'm going now. Take care. My name is Yoshino Hazaru. Right now I'm heading towards my school, Tokimori Senior High. Just last night I discovered a charm called Sachiko Ever After. According to the blog post of Senoki Naho, it's a charm for those who want their friendship to last forever, no matter what happens. This is nice because it's a fan game that takes place in the Heavenly Host series. None of the other fan games have. They all took place after, like, Corpse Party Rebuilt, or the original one. So the truth, I'm not really someone who believes in things such as charms and magic, but... Desperate times fall call for desperate measures. Guess that's the saying. I guess that's the saying that is fitting for my situation right now. Akaji Yuzuki... Ka Kajira... Ikaru. Kajira, that is a weird name. My two best friends, they're the reason I'm even trying something like this. Whenever we're together, they just won't stop fighting. Even in the simplest time, even even in the simplest things, they just can't help but bicker. That that was a weirdly that last part was weirdly worded. They used to be really cheerful around each other. I don't know why and when it changed. I just want to fix our friendship. I thought he was saying all that on his way to school. Oh, now he's just here. Harry, why did you call the two of us here? Harry, why did you call both of us here? Are you picking a fight again? I'm not. If you just left them right now, then I... Hey, you guys. 
Hey, you two tough-looking guys, you want to do a cute charm I found on the internet? Garo Yusuke. Hey, you guys, just listen, will ya? Sorry, Haru. Just listen for a while, please. Well, what do you want to talk about? I want to do a charm with you two. A charm? What kind of charm? It's called the Sachiko Ever After Charm. After mentioning the name of the charm, Haru began to explain what it is and what it's for. Charm to be friends forever? Who'd want to be friends with Yuzuki forever? Haru seems to be really eager in doing it. Well, if it makes him happy, then I... Hazer is too eager about this hoax. Well, if doing this stupid charm will calm him down, then... I guess there's no harm in doing it. So you two understand how this works, right? Yeah, yeah, we got it. There's only three characters. Weird. Say, Sachiko, we beg of you. Once for each person doing the charm, right? No more, no less, and then we rip the paper. I also said that you shouldn't... F we shouldn't flub the line, and if we do, don't repeat it. Please don't... You, you worry too much about this. Let's just do it, right, Haru? Haru? Alright, let's just get on with it. Sachiko, we beg of you. Sachiko, we beg of you. Red text this time? Yep. Sachiko, we beg of you. Oh, now the text box is red. Was it? No, it wasn't always red, was it? Now we just have to rip out one piece of the charm for each of us three here. You two ready? Rip the paper doll? Why wouldn't I? Okay, now. I didn't check to see if you could save in the, save in the menu. Ugh. What the hell has you scared of thunder? I was just surprised, that all. That's all. Well, we better get home now. I don't want to be soaked by the rain later, do you? An earthquake. Oh, the same music from the game when this happens. It's a damn strong one, too. And you know what's also bad? The music is loud. Wait, I messed up that sentence. It's, it's not bad. The music is just loud. Go to the tables, you do quit. I don't know why I said it was bad. What the? The floor. New. How's it? Hmm. Guess they're all gonna end up in different places because they're all at completely different parts of the room for some reason. Why? Why did this have to happen? Chapter one. I wonder how long this chapter's gonna be. It's been eight minutes and we just got in the Heavenly Host. Uh, where am I? Why do you feel so heavy? What happened? That's right, we did the charm and then... There was an earthquake. Just hope Yuzuki and Akari are alright. And not together. Yuzuki, Akari? Where am I? Ooh, I like the way this looks. Akari, Yuzuki, where are you guys? Where the hell are they? This place doesn't even look like it's a part of our school at all. That earthquake bring me here? How could that even possibly happen? This doesn't make any sense at all. Panic was slowly eating away at my rational thinking. Where were they? How did we end up here? How can we get out of here? There are so many questions spinning in my mind. Only after I drown my mind in questions that I finally find myself calm again. That's right, I gotta look for them first. Ooh. W, W. Can look for the way out after I find them. Okay, that... W, W, whatever. Alright, I like the way this looks. It's nice and dark. This is a bit weird. What the heck is... Is, is this a stage? I guess it's a stage. In the classroom, alright. Or maybe it's the teacher's podium. Maybe, maybe in this universe the teacher's podiums are huge. The books are old and dusty. The books are old and dusty. I kind of want to go down and look at those papers, but I cannot get down there. I'll have to go around. Let's see what this says. How long will you last? What's with this? How long will you last? Anything in the bookshelf? No. All right, this hall is a lot wider than I remembered. This is definitely not our school. Everything in here looks so old and damaged. 
Where are they? If I survived that earthquake, I'm sure they did too, so where are they? What was that? Did it come from the speaker up there? Welcome to Heavenly Host Elementary School. Heavenly Host Elementary School, is that this place's the school's name? Never heard of that school before. No, that's not what matters right now. How did we get here? How can we get back? Hello, if anyone can hear me, do you know if my two friends Yuzuki and Nikaru are here too? I didn't get through. It, it closed on its own. No response, huh? Hello. That looks like, like a sprite for, straight from the actual game. Huh. Something felt strange earlier. Can it be? Was I just imagining things? Ah, oh, music. This music is from Chapter 5 in the second building. A wooden bucket sits on the hallway's floor. Upon closer inspection, you realize that the weird liquid inside of the bucket is pee. The bucket is almost filled to the brim, like someone just poured gallons of water inside. It creates an intensely repulsive odor. Alrighty, let's go read that note down in here. Was there anything else down here? Was there a loose board? If it, there is a loose board, no, it's not over there. Scraps of paper are scattered on the floor. It's filled with almost illegible writing, like it was done with extreme haste. I'm going to die, though something something won't something go. Something is scared. Help. There are strange writings at the bottom of the paper. It is different from the writing above. Don't look at us. Oh, that's right, I want to... Yes! Yes! You don't have save points! Thank you! I don't like save points. Alright, can't go that way. Let me guess. Debris? The chairs are blocking the way downstairs. Trying to move them doesn't seem to work at all. Yes, climbing over them would just be too hard. Climbing over these elementary school-sized chairs. And it's just like that here. Chairs blocking upstairs. Alright. There's a paw print on the, the voice earlier. It came from here, right? Come to think of it, how could this still work? School doesn't look like it's still open at all. Did that voice even come from here? No, I should just look... I should just look of. I think that's supposed to say four. Yuzuki and Ikaru first. Is that? It looks like a paw print rather than a hand print. Although I guess it's kind of zoomed out, so it'd be really hard to make a hand print. What is in here? Ooh, I like this. This isn't good. It's too dark in here. Hmm. I like the limited vision. Usually in Corpse Party, a limited... There's that dog outside again. Jeez. It's like that dog knows that I'm recording. No, there's something on the floor. Uh, a body. With graphics taken straight from the game. What the hell? is a dead body. No, it can't be. new. No. How can someone die here? Was he killed? No, stop it. Stop thinking like that. I've got to get out of here now. Yuzuki Akari, I need to find them fast. Please wait. A ghost. I see. Even with her gone, this hell just won't release its hold on all of us. What are you talking about? You. You and two others were brought here, a closed space not of your own, by a malevolent spirit. Closed space? What? Malevolent spirit? What is it talking about? Malevolent spirit, I don't understand. You said two, right? And those two must be. Wow, you're really smart to figure that out. Yes, I'm certain that they're your friends. Seems they're both brought here inside the school. That's great, now I just have to find them and... <laughs> yeah. What? Why are you laughing? It's nothing, it's just that... No, it's nothing, nothing at all. You have to find a way to meet with your friends. Once you do everything you can <clears throat> do everything you can do to find a way out of this place, your friends will play valuable roles in helping you find the exit. Be careful though the school and some of its inhabitants will try to stop you. The school, how can it stop us from getting out? This place is filled with dangers, possession, traps, and even simply death lurks in these halls. This place is that dangerous? I don't think you don't think what? You need to be careful around the red spirits. Unlike blue spirits, they have succumbed to the eternal pain of their death and wishes it on others. 
What do you mean by eternal pain? In this place, the pain, pain of your death you experience lasts forever. No hope for release, no hope for any form of salvation. The pain you felt in your death will cling to you for all eternity. No Nevrano awaits those who die within the halls of this accursed school. Ugh, that's horrible. How could that even happen? That's too cruel. Also, you should be even more wary to see three child spirits roam in the halls. Three? Child spirits? There are three of them, and they are even more dangerous than the red spirits. Don't attempt any interaction with them. This will undoubtedly be your death if you do. I understand. Three child spirits? So Sashko isn't here. I figured that from something it said earlier. What's happening? I cannot stay much longer. Please remember my warnings and make it out alive, both you and your friends. Don't lose hope. You can make it out. Rely on your friends and do everything you can to find a way out of this hell. Bye bye. Don't end up like us. It's gone. But right before it disappeared, the spirit. It had a red glow. Oh, then the lights went out again. Blue spirit won't show up anymore. There was a body over there. Can I get to it? There's no name tags, right? Oh, wait, maybe there are. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! Oh, you can change the color of the... Oh, that, that's pretty cool. And you can change the this stuff. I don't know what BGS background sound. Okay. Cool. Battle animations. Uh, okay, I guess it's going to be battles. Instant text. That's all right. Uh, I don't, I don't want to do either of those down there. Okay, good. I can just hit back. So is there any way to get to that body? It looks like new. Is there anything else in this room? I just that's the only other thing that I noticed. There is bookshelf. Room is too dark to make out text of book on the books on the shelves. There's another one of these. Anything up there? No, there's a teacher's podium. Well, I don't know what the heck this is like. Do, do classes? No, I've never seen a class in Japan have a stage. Weird. Yeah, see, there's a body down there. I see it there. No head. Awesome. Lovely. Oh wait, 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 wait. Don't look at me. Okay, maybe maybe I should save first. I want to look at you, though. Just go away. Greetings. It's the body of a schoolgirl. Her body mutilated beyond recognition. Her upper body is... Her upper body is gone. It looks like just her head is gone. And all that remains are mangled flesh, her lower half, half and a foul stench. I should just leave it alone. But I want to look at it more. I should just leave the body alone. Oh, I thought it was going to lead to a wrong end. Oh, man. Maybe it will. Maybe something bad will happen as I leave. No. Okay. Interesting. Let's save. Over here. What is this? Stay away. Do you believe that love knows no limits? Can you believe in it till, till the end? Can that love of yours save you from hell? Oh. Oh, that's a hole. I didn't know what that was. Can't look at that. Anything in here? Wait a minute. Oh yeah, there was two doors on that other one. Despite attempts to open the door, it refuses to budge. It was as if the door was just a design on the wall. It's on. Stay away. Stay away. Huh? A voice. Did you did you just notice? Oh. Why is there fire? I, we told you to stay away. That's a red spirit, isn't it? There's three of them. I have to get away from them. You'll laugh at us, won't you? Huh? You'll look at our bodies, you'll laugh at our ugly corpses, won't you? Wait, I, uh... I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Ah! Bastard, we'll kill you ourselves. I have to escape. In here? I can go in there. Aru. Huh? Who's that? Alright, that was difficult. I think I'm safe here for now. There's that body right there. There's no newspaper, so we don't have to worry about getting locked in. Spirits aren't even trying to enter this place. But, someone out there called me, right? Damn, I gotta lead those dirty things away from Haru. Hey, you assholes over here. What did you call us? Good, they're falling for it. That sounds like an insanely stupid thing to do. Uh, you looked, you really are, assholes. Damn you. Gah. Got their attention. Gotta run now. Third floor restrooms. There's a body. That's a nice looking body over there. Maybe I made them a bit too angry. 
Where'd you smart ass mouth go? <laughs> Shit, I gotta do something quick. We gotta go look at this body, hold on. Let's save right there. Skeleton lays clumped on the floor. There isn't a sign of clothing left on it, nor is there any indications of gender on the remains. There's no music, just wind. Boys restroom. Hmm. This restroom actually looks really nice. Except for that. Except that. That's not very nice. The door is open and seems to be stuck that way. Any efforts to make the door budge is fruitless. Only this door is stuck this way, huh? Can't open the other ones. Nope. Alright, well, let's go look at the urinals and then the sink and then check out the... check and see if Seiko... No, Seiko wouldn't be in there. She she was taken down. The scent of ammonia is staggering. Unless this takes place in an alternate timeline. No, it couldn't take place in an alternate timeline where all the Kisaragi students died because it seems like Sachiko's not here anymore. No matter how long you turn the faucet, no water comes out. Door is locked on this side. Oh. Oh. Oh, what? Oh. Okay. Okay, I guess... Don't, that, that, that's a bit weird. It should just let you out anyway. Girls' restroom. Don't know why I looked at that. I knew damn well what it was. No psycho? No psycho. Good. Oh, well. No. Door that was open a while ago won't open anymore. Oh, I just noticed that the room with that noose in it and the boys' restroom was the... The nice ghost. Seiko. It was the nice ghost place. Is someone there? And he didn't yell at us. He didn't say, shut the goddamn door. What is this, a bottle? Some weird scribbles on its label. It looks kind of paranormalish. Could this be holy water? Of course. Mm, yes, of course. The first thing I would think. Pick it up? Yeah. Acquired holy water. Maybe I can drive the spirits away with this. Exactly what I was thinking. I wouldn't have assumed that's holy water, though. All right, I have to go to the bottom. It should just let you out, no matter which way you go. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Let's save again. Items. All right, well, I guess I can't select it. Let's. Oh, I can just go around them. Wow, they're not very dangerous. All right, see you guys. Can't go down until I'm sure Haru's safe. What? But but Haru's down there. But Haru's down there. Hey guys. After we possess you, we'll let you have fun with your friend downstairs. It'll be a blast. <laughs> Shut the hell up, you rotten freak. Use the holy... Why would you even give me the option to not use it? Maybe I should just not use it and see what happens. Gah. So you want in, huh? Alright, let's see how this... Let's see how the wrong ends in this game are. Because the wrong ends in D2 are not good at all. I found myself lose consciousness as the spirit took over me, although I still know that my body's moving. I can't see nor hear my own actions. After a while, I slowly recovered from... I slowly recovered both of my lost senses. Unfortunately, the first thing I saw made me wish I had never got them back. His body full of blood with liquids dripping from his mouth. His clothes and flesh were torn and burnt away. Uh, Haru? I'm not gonna see anything? Had it? Alright, well that was kind of disappointing. Kind of short and it didn't show anything. Not, not that the... Not that the wrong ends always show anything in the real games. It just, it just seemed to show not much at all. Okay, let's use it on them now. Like, if you walk right into them, it doesn't actually do it. Like, look at that. I'm forcibly trying to walk right into it, but it doesn't work. Hey, mister, you want you to be my pet? Nope. Down you go. And you too. Oh, there's actually voice acting for that one. Damn you. Damn you. Damn you. The bottle of holy water is all used up. Could have been useful for later. Well, yeah, you could have just went downstairs because the f I, the, the spirits weren't exactly, you know, a threat. Well, at least Haru's safe now. He was safe already because he's downstairs and you were upstairs. 
And there is a body. Body of a schoolgirl lays on the ground. One of her feet is missing from her body, and she has a small pair of scissors jutting on the back of her neck. Yum. There's another one. That that uniform looks like the Kisaragi uniform. Body of a schoolgirl with her back against the wall. This is a foul smell separate from the center of decay. There also seems to be wet stains on her skirt. Alright, you in here. wonder if it's safe to go out now. It's already been a while now. Uh. It's alright, it's me, Yuzuki. It's me, Yuzuki. Ah, Yuzuki. You alright, Haru? Yeah, I guess that's thanks to you, right? Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, you got some blood on your arm. Guess I do, I haven't noticed that before. Ah, uh, how did that get there? Just a small scratch, it's fine. Are you sure? Tell me if it hurts and I'll... It's fine, really, you don't have to worry about it. If you say so. Wait, you haven't seen a car? Garu. No, we haven't seen each other yet. Oh, I guess if you saw each other already, it would have been two of you here, huh? I don't think so. Yeah, that's right. That's right, I have to tell you something. Tell me something, what is it? It's about this place. After that, I started to tell Yuzuki of what I learned from the Blue Spirit a while ago. First, Yuzuki seemed skeptic of my words, but as I spoke more and more, he slowly realized that the words I spoke were the truth. Can't blame him, though. Even I wish that this was just a horrible joke. It's just too surreal. However, I I think I understand our situation a bit better now, though, though my head's, yeah, my mind kind of wants to reject it. It's fine. I understand that it's hard to make to take it all in, being so sudden and all. We're in big trouble right now. If that spirit you talk to is telling the truth, getting out might be a bit tricky. But we're going to make it, all three of us. I'm sure we can do it. We just have to be careful and looking for the way out of here. Me, you, and Ikaru will get home for sure. Now you're right. Let's go then. We'll first look for Ikaru and then the exit. I want to look around in here. I'm going to look at that body. Hmm? What's wrong, Yusuke? It's nothing. We should get moving now, right? We still have to find a car. What the heck? There's a fly flying around my room. Yeah, let's get going now. Hmm. Suspicious ac actions there. I want to go back into that room. Alright, let's go back into the room. If I can. Oh. I mean, I, can I can't. Oh. What is it, Haru? Doors. The door is locked now. I eh? should say locked. Uh, it won't open up anymore. You locked it? No, it locked on its own. Why am I not surprised about that anymore? Yeah, me too. Well, at least we're out of the room already. Would have been bad if it decided to lock itself while we were inside, right? Eh, don't worry, it would have just unlocked itself after a while for no reason anyway. Yeah, that would be bad. Alright, let's go check. Check and see what Mayu's doing lately. Oh, the lighting, oh, that, that was kind of a weird transition. Let's go into the science lab, even though I know I won't be able to. Alright, let's look at this body. That kind of looks like a Kisaragi male uniform. Human bones are scattered on the floor. Remaining skin in some of the corpse's clothes are burned. Hey, Mario, what's going on? Yeah, what was that? Damn it, Haru. Haru, close your eyes and cover your nose now. Why, Yusuke? Please, just do it. Alright, if you say that, I should, I guess. All right, Wits Cubwood. Okay, I'll guide you by the shoulder. That, why did he say it like that? All right. Oh, because he's plugging his nose? I guess that, yeah, I guess that does make... Oh, I can still say all right pretty well like this. Oh, what was that? Hey, I told you to cover them. What was that sound? It sounded like... Hmm. What the? It's a corpse. It's not just a corpse. Look at it. This person must have died only a few hours ago. The blood and body and... Haru, just calm down, please. I think I'm gonna puke. Yeah, it must not smell very good. I told you to cover them, didn't I? Let's just get out of here. Bye, Mayu. Strange transition. 
The body of a schoolgirl lays on the ground. Her stomach is wide open and mangled organs remain inside. Her mouth is open wide, her tongue crudely removed. Yum. Wait, what is that? Nothing at all. Let's go into the infirmary. Mmm, the infirmary. I should have saved before I came in here. You know, I can save now. Infirmary, always a fun place. There's a candle. There's a candle inside one of those little lamp things. What's a candle doing here? Why isn't it on a lamp? Huh. Haru? Hmm? Did I, did I get a wrong end? Please let go now. What a voice, it's too soft. You've been through a lot, you're free now. A female voice. What? No, stop. No. Hmm? Hmm? No. Uh, what's happening? I don't understand. I'm with you. Uh, no, no, no. I, I feel I feel like I should remember that, but if I remembered that, I probably would. Uh. Hey, Haru, calm down. Yo, man, go touch that lamp. Some freaky stuff happens. No, please stop it. Stop it. Damn it, has her snap out of it. Ah. Uh. The space heater isn't here. Yuzuki. You all right now, Haru? Yeah, thanks for snapping me back. What happened to you? Believe it or not, I kind of heard something when I touched this candle. You heard something? Yeah, there were two voices. Both of them were girls. One girl was pleading someone to let go of what I think is the other girl. Mm. Next is there was screaming, glass breaking, distinguishing horrible sound of a body being thrown to a wall. Ah, all right. I don't want to remember how it sounded like anymore. It's too horrible. I'm sorry, how are you? I made you remember. Ah, no, it's fine. You didn't know. Yeah, I had no idea that's what that was all supposed to be. But I don't want to be near that candle anymore. Just seeing it makes me remember. It looks like you need some rest right about now. You want to go sleep together? Let's go sleep together, man. Bottles of medicine and unknown liquid are lined up on a dusty shelf. Does an infirmary really need so much of these? Bottle of rubbing alcohol is sitting on the table. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Let's save over five. I'm, I'm just going to keep saving over new slots. Diary is placed on the table. Despite efforts to lift the small object, it doesn't seem to be budging even just a small bit. However, the pages are turnable. And they're probably empty. Pages may be turnable, but the writing is so messed up there's nothing to even read. Oh. I was hoping there's some clue to getting out of here inside it. It did look important. There's a clock. The clock has its hands twisted and is pointing towards you. Ooh, spooky. Oh man, 30 minutes and we're still going. Long chapter. The original message of the post is far from readable. However, there's still something messily written above it. Do you want to play? Bottles of medicine, none liquid. No scissors? Nope, no scissors on the shelf. Alright, let's sleep. Hey, beds here seem to be cleaner than I expected them to be. Yeah, I'd have to expect that it'd be dirty from the looks of things outside. Are right, you want to rest up a bit? Yeah, thanks for asking. Hey, are you asleep? All right, this is some happy music. No, I can't really sleep. Lying down is just fine for now. Oh, geez, get your... you something to ask? I want to make sure that small bruise here is all right. Yeah, it's fine. You worry too much, you know. So I guess I'm taking your mom's favor too seriously, huh? No, it's fine, but really, Mom's the one that worries too much. I'm 15 years old already. I can do things on my own. So you don't need me anymore. Oh, I never said anything like that. Of course I need you, Yuzuki. You're my friend, right? <laughs> is, is that right? Of course it is. Hey, stop laughing. You're making me even more embarrassed. Sorry, sorry. It's Yuzuki for everything. Hmm? I said thank you for everything, Yuzuki. Haru, I should be the one thanking you. Oh, don't mention it, Haru. Stop that, it tickles. What is going on now? 
Hey, enough with the hugging. Why, we used to wrestle like this when we were kids, right? Oh, okay. But that was when we were kids, beside we're kind of in a situation right now. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You're in a school full of death. You just witnessed some person thrown against the wall outside, guts everywhere, and now you're having a tickle fight. You'll kill me. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about it. What is it? Charm we did before we ended up here. You still have your scrap with you? This is it, right? One piece of the charm for each of us. One for me, one for you, one for Akari. Yeah, I got mine here too with my ID. Wonder if Akari still has his paper scrap, hopefully. Maybe if the earthquake didn't make it fall away from him. Hope he managed to keep it. That's right, why did you make us do the charm? I know you're not really into stuff like that. Haru? I know so you two keep on fighting whenever the three of us are together. I just um I just kinda wanted to make you <clears throat> to help wanted to help you two make up and stuff like that. So I want to make up with each other. Of course, you two are my best friends after all. Thanks for worrying about us. I guess we should patch things up after this is over. Hope that car was willing to make up. After all, he was the one who Damn, getting irritated again. Yeah, you don't want to do that here. Oh, my head. It hurts. He can't. He won't. Okay, break's over. Let's get going, Haru. Huh? Yeah, I guess it's been a while now. This guy seems kind of strange. Did I do something to upset him? I hope not. All right, let's see. Let's, let's see how the layout outside changed, because I assume it changed. Oh, we're not even going to be able to get out. Wait, what's he doing up there? Hey, Yusuke, there's nothing to see there. Come on, we got to look for Akari, right? Hey, about Rue again. Did you say something, Yusuke? I couldn't hear what you said just now. Yusuke, what are you doing? Oh, it's Yoshia. What the heck's happening now? Yusuke, what's the matter? Did you find something important inside the diary? Hey, come on, talk to me. Did I do something? If I did, tell me. I'm going to kill you. What was the... Haru? Something felt different with Yusuke, like it wasn't even him at all. What happened to him? What is Yusuke? Do you need something? Press laughter escaped his lips. Lips. Why is he even laughing? Laugh. Laughing. Laughing. He's a key. What's wrong? Heard you want to play a game? No. Play a game right now? <laughs> That's right. Let's play right now. What would you like to play? There's definitely something wrong. Let's play a game of tag. But what? Tag in here? That's right. You, you think of a prize if you win. But if I win, I get... He gets what? <laughs> Let's start, shall we? What should I... Three? Two? Yusuke, what's happening to you? One. Here I come. Haru. Alright, now I assume I have to get to the door. Figure out that it's covered in hair. How can a door be locked? I, I thought I was going to be covered in hair. Let's get the candle. Or not, I thought I was going to have to get the candle. Come here. At least he's nice and slow. Oh, I can see his pathing is a little off. Bottle of rubbing alcohol won't help. What? Well, what will help? What will help in here? Please tell me. Come here. No, no, you. Come on, thank you. It has that weird pathing thing that Desert Nightmare had. The hell can door be locked? Just, just, just try and open it. I, I can't see him. What would I do in here? I can't interact with the candle. I don't want to try talking to him. Actually, can I save right now? I cannot save right now. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Can't look in there. Come here. Alright, what is up here? Nothing help on the side, so I should just leave it alone. I want to go look at the corner cabinet, but I can't get there. Hmm. Where, oh where, would I go in here? 
anything in there? No. No. Do you want to play? Yeah, I, I didn't do much. Alright, you come over here. I'm gonna go look at the corner cabinet. Anything in here? Better be. Nope, nothing at all. What on earth do I do? I cannot think of what to do here. I can't get out. Maybe I should just let him catch me. Hey. Got you, Haru. Let go, Yusuke. Stop it, Yusuke. Don't worry, I won't kill you. Not yet, anyway. Oh, well, I guess this isn't going to be a good ending. Not yet, then what will he... Snapped out of my thoughts as I felt myself get dragged by Izuki. Where is he? Bed, why did he bring me here? You look confused, are you? You're probably wondering, what will he do, aren't you? This isn't funny anymore, Yuzuki. Come on, stop this. What's gotten into you? Eh? Found any more Yuzuki now towers above me on all fours, casting a shadow to my whole body. His face is covered with shadows, making it hard to see his face. Fight it? <laughs> Yuzuki's head slowly crept closer to my right ear until I started to feel his breath on my ear. But, oh, but you see... He already lost the fight. Hazeru? What? The voice I heard just now, that's not Yuzuki? Well, that sounds like what the sp that spirit said. This place is filled with dangers, possession, chaps, even simply death lurks in these hells. Thank you for reminding me what the spirit said, because I actually completely forgot. Possession. But hell, there wasn't any chance. You. Your. What is it, Haru? Your? Your. Not Yuzuki, are you? I like this music. Chapter 3 ending music. Continued. Oh, I got. I was supposed to get caught by him. Okay, that. I, I don't like that design. I I talked about that design in Crossfear. How to get the true end? You had to get caught by the anatomical model, which is a really bad design. But this one isn't as bad because it's the, literally the only thing you can do. All right. Well, I guess that's the end of chapter one. That was actually not too terrible. It really wasn't. I don't. I, I don't know what I was expecting. Like D two really put my expectations like really close to the ground so I mean it's, it's not hard to be better than that but this is actually that was actually pretty good the weird thing though is extras I'm not gonna go to it but I checked it before I started recording and you can actually go to it I think that should be saved until you're done with the game it should be locked until then but whatever so that's all for chapter one thank you for watching and goodbye that was a long chapter too wow all right well, see you